Hello guys, I am Ayan and welcome to the JN Academy and today I want to discuss about evaporator like single effect evaporator so let's go first I will discuss about uh, single effect evaporator then multiple effect evaporator okay now see the single effect evaporator In single effect evaporator, first I discuss about the construction, then I will discuss about principle, then working, and then advantage, disadvantage. Okay, so let's go. See the construction first. Construction. Now see the construction. Okay, as you see, this is the large cylinder and with uh, dome shape top and bottom. Okay, and this is uh, made of cast iron or metal something. And inside the inside this cylinder, a calendria is fitted at the bottom. As you see that this calendria actually consists of some vertical tube and diameter of which is approximately 0.5 to 0.75 meter and the diameter of the cylinder is approximately 2.5 meter okay and you also see that there are two inlet and four outlet four outlet okay and first one for feed second for steam okay these are inlet and for outlet this is the outlet of vapor this is the vent and it is the outlet of air okay actually present in this calendria before introducing the steam okay and this is the outlet for steam condensate steam condensate what's this actually when you provide some steam this steam come to contact with the feed and at that time heat transfer happen from steam to feed and as heat transfer happen some steam losses it heat and become condensate and form water this water from the calendria come out from this path as a steam condensate understand and this calendria contains some gas when you provide steam and at that time steam enter into the calendria and gas present in the calendria start to remove from this vent and when completely remove the vent is closed and this is most important outlet through which the desired concentrated product is collected so this is the construction okay now see the principle In case of principal, feed is introduced through the tube and steam is provided from the outside into the calendria and this feed liquid come to contact with the steam and form vapor and this vapor come at the top of the cylinder okay and after this come out from the outlet vapor outlet as a vapor okay and when desired concentrated product is formed then collected from the outlet okay this is the principle now see what is the working in case of working see this steam is introduced into the calendria at that time the non-condensed gas present into this come out from this vent and the condensate and the condensate liquid form into the calendria come out through the corresponding outlet now you have to be provide feed and this feed have to introduced in such a way to maintain the liquid level slightly above the tube okay slightly above this tube and when you provide the steam steam introduced into the tube and in this tube feed is present okay and this steam comes to contact with the with this feed and this feed gain temperature and start to boil and form vapor form vapor and the less concentrated product return through this path okay and again enter into this path again enter into this tube okay as a result 
this whole system form a circulation and for more circulation more heat transfer happening and more vapor is formed and this vapor removed from vapor outlet and this system you have to provide till the desired concentrated product is formed okay and after the forming desired concentrated product you have to maintain this liquid level at the end when whole this feed in the evaporator present become desired concentrated and after then it is collected through the collecting path as a concentrated product okay so guys i hope uh, you easily understand the construction principle and working and then see the what is the use of this actually this evaporator used for the manufacturing of sugar salt and caustic soda you know that in case of sugar you have to concentrate a product and in such a way by this evaporator this this type of product is formed next see what is the advantage of this actually here a strong circulation happening as this strong circulation happening it enhance the heat transfer okay this is the number one advantage and second advantage is uh, you can join such type of unit to form a multiple uh, effect and which give uh, more beneficial effect okay next see the disadvantage actually when you provide the steam then form the vapor and when vapor come this position uh, this vapor form a pressure actually when this pressure is increased the elevation of boiling point happening and when elevation of boiling point happening means more heat transfer is required and it reduces the effective temperature gradient and it may be uh, cause the harmful effect in the drug product okay and uh, you can say that this is costly complicated these are the disadvantages okay <laughs>